In question 1, we have to carry out the multiplication of the expressions in each of the following pairs. So let's start with the first part. In the first part, the two expressions are 4p and q plus r. And we have to multiply these two expressions. The first one is a monomial and the second one is a binomial. So we can use the distributive law and multiply term by term. So we will have 4p into q plus 4p into r. So I have applied the distributive law here. So 4p into q will be 4pq and 4p into r will be 4pr. So this is the product in the first part. In the second part, we have to multiply the expressions a, b and a minus b. So once again, the first term, the first expression is a monomial and the second expression is a binomial. So once again, we can multiply the distributive law and multiply term by term. So we have a, b into a minus a, b into b. So a, b into a will be a square b and a b into b will be a b square. So we will get minus a b square. So this is the product in part 2. In part 3, we have to multiply a plus b and 7 a square b square. So in this case, the first expression is a binomial and the second expression is a monomial. But once again, we can apply the distributive law because the distribution can happen either from the left side or the right side and we can multiply term by term. So we will get a into 7a square b square plus b into 7a square b square. So a into 7a square b square will be, you will have three repetitions of a. So you will get 7a cube b square and in the second product, you will have b and b square giving you three repetitions of b. So you will get 7a square b cube. So this is the product that you will get in part 3. Then coming to part 4, you have to multiply a square minus 9 and 4a. So in this case, the first expression is a binomial and the second expression is a monomial. So once again, we will apply the distributive law and we can expand this as a square into 4a minus 9 into 4a. So a square into 4a will be 4a cube because you have three repetitions of a and then minus 9 into 4a will be minus 36a. So you will get 4a cube minus 36a as the answer in part 4. Finally in part 5 you have to multiply the two expressions pq plus qr plus rp. This is the first expression and the second expression is 0. So the first expression is a trinomial it has three terms and the second expression is simply 0. So anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So the answer of this, the product in this case should be 0. But let's multiply the, let's uh, apply the distributive law anyway and first expand this product and write it as pq into 0 plus qr into 0 plus rp into 0. So this will be, each of these three products will be 0. So we will get 0 plus 0 plus 0 and this will give us 0 as the product for part 5. And with this, we have completed question number 1. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.